and the views. Well, one of the most exciting new titles shown at Gamescom is Red Out, an indie developed game uh, coming for PC next week, taking on that sort of wipeout mantra. Going to be coming to PS4 and Xbox One in the new year. I spoke to the developer to find out more. Hi, I'm Valerio, I'm the CEO of Toy for Big Things. We've been working on, uh, for the last two years on Red Out. Um, so Red Out is an arcade futuristic racing game. Um, it's basically a tribute to F0, Wipeout, Pod, Roll Cage. I mean, every single giant who made this genre what it should be. Um, and you know, there is an all in the market, there is, there is an all in our hearts, because we, we firmly believe that we needed a modern take on what it should be the anti-gravity racing genre. So that, that's exactly why we did, and we started um, building a redout since the very first day. So we, we wanted to give a very diverse world to our game, so we build four different environments. Um, we build Egypt, which is Cairo basically, Alaska, um, the Italian coast, and, and a volcanic island. Um, we have 20 tracks, uh, plus one boss race for each of them. And we have uh, five different teams that you can choose, and for each team you have four different ships that you can upgrade and uh, apply power-ups. Um, and what we really wanted to build was basically, again, a modern take on what should be the Java and the handling and the control feeling has to be top-notch. So what we did was basically getting as a reference all the quadcopters technology and controllers and apply that to real-world physics. And what we achieved was basically um, a system that gives you the ability to actually turn uh, take every single curve in the fastest speed possible, uh, maintaining control. Now the thing is you have to get there and you have to know the system, you have to understand it to actually do it, but you can do it. So we have online support, you can, at the moment you can race against eight people uh, from all over the world, so get ready to compete. The minimum specs are actually, we, we are just lowering the, um, the minimum requirements for the game to a GTX uh, uh, 560. And then like an i5 will definitely do, like even if it's like three or four years old. Mm -hmm. um, and the, rec the recommended ones are a bit higher. I would prefer to, I, I would prefer that everybody plays on a 970 or something like that, yeah. because the, the more frames you have, the, the more you can enjoy the game in my opinion. Like if you have a, you know, a free sync or a G-Sync screen, that's, yeah. that's even better. Um, because we've been playing a lot with VR and for VR you need at least 90 FPS to have a very good experience. Um, so that, that definitely works. So first thing anyone's going to ask when they hear that is they're going to say, oh, it's coming to VR. Yes, it is. Wow, okay. Now that must be a heady experience. Uh, so, so that's basically what we're thinking at the beginning as well. But uh, and I don't know why, and as a scientist, as a computer scientist, that really intrigues me. Um, there is basically very little nausea, considering that you are on a serious roller coaster. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm a bit biased, I would say, but in my opinion, and I'm a huge VR fan, it's probably the best looking VR game ever. Really? I've never seen and never experienced a better VR game. So I'm really looking forward to you guys trying it out and you know, giving your honest opinion on that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Try it out. Now, I know that it exists. So I can tell you after trying it on the screen, it's visually stunning. Uh, you know, some of the effects are fantastic. In VR, wow, that's going to be a rush. Uh, when do you think com that kind of compatibility might come for the PC version? So just about uh, at lunch. So that means on the 2nd of September, you are going to be um, a Radiant set to play on VR. And you can play on Oculus Rift, on HTC Vive, and on Razer Rise VR as well. Brilliant. Well, I can't wait to take, test it on the HTC Vive. That's a really nice surprise, actually. Looking forward to it. And it's out on September the 2nd, so we've not got long till it's actually released. Now, what news is there officially of the console launches and, and sort of the target for that? So we are definitely trying to ship on the very beginning of next year, which means uh, mid-January, more or less on Xbox and PlayStation 4. Uh, we're still struggling to get the uh, PlayStation VR. Uh, ready for that date. 
So we'll try. We'll definitely try, and we hopefully make it. We'll see. Well, I think it's like you say. A, a number of developers are getting their core games out first, then releasing VR compatibility some months later. But it's something that can be patched in. I think you'll probably learn a lot when it comes to people using the Vive and the Oculus and getting it just right. Because, like you say, some games you don't get motion sickness in, and it's very strange as to why you do with others. But we do know stability of frame rate is key uh, for, for for making it work. I do look forward to seeing that. I say, wow, the uh, roller coaster that you're showing. You're showing us a gameplay demo uh, while we're looking at this, and I say, absolutely flying. Uh, which class of ship is this? This is our second class. So it's probably my favorite. Yeah. Um, that's why I chose it. Not because it's the fastest, not because it's the best for this specific track, yeah. but I just like it. I just like the design, just like how it looks, and. Um, I, I'm a cold player as well in the sense that I usually play in the first person, of course. Yeah. But I like this car, this ship that much that I just want to see it on the screen. I like the way you've altered the HUD as well to actually appear as attached to the ship as well. Nice. And you can see a lot of animations as well yeah. uh, with the different ships. Yeah. Uh, some of them will actually transform the faster we go, and transform just means that it will rearrange for speed something that you probably want to see as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, tracks have impressed me. Very complex, uh, requiring a lot of skill at the moment. And how many tracks in total, how many ships in the, in the game? So there are uh, five teams, um, and each of them have four different ships, uh, different classes, of course. Um, and we have four different environments with uh, five tracks each, plus the boss track. Um, and we have, a, we have a pretty long career for the, you know, the, scape, the scope of the game we have because it's a 70 plus event based career. So you can play for a long time now. Well, show me one of these super fast ships just on an easier course. Okay. Okay. Show me how it's done. <laughs> I just love the name of this track because it's hell on in Volcano, which is amazing. <laughs> I mean, crazy speed. You could barely see where I was going. I was going so fast, but it's um, it's getting used to you know getting used to all the controls, the pitch controls, and everything else, as well as the standard driving. So there's a lot to think about. You know, you've got your boost going constantly. You know, you're going up and down as well as left and right, and you've got your air brakes. You know, it's. Uh, what a heady mix. So you have some time at the, at the beginning of the game to basically, at the beginning of the career at least, to learn the basic controls and how uh, your ship actually reacts. And so you can adapt to, the, um, to your game style and what we need in the game you to do. Yeah. And then later on, when, once you, are, you, you advance in the career, you get more power-ups and you get... Uh, you feel a bit more confident about what you can do in the game. You try new stuff and... It's especially, it's crucial to the, you know, to a later stage in the game, like the, the track we're going to see now, um, that you learn to master the pitch and the strafing, of course. Yeah. And the basic stuff that you have to get as soon as possible is that you have to prepare for the cure as much as possible, uh, take it, strafe it, and then turbo it out. Yeah. Well, there you've heard it now, viewers. Uh, that's all of that going into the racing as I'm looking at the Speed 4 class. My goodness me. And this is a much more complex circuit in terms of the geometry, isn't it? And this one, there's a lot of detail there. So this one is the most amazing environment we have and also the biggest one. This one is eight times all the others combined. It's, it's gigantic. Now, as an indie studio, how many people would work on a game like this? So we started the game where, when we were just four people. Uh, but then, luckily, the studio grew over time, and now we have 20 people working on it. Right, so it's really growing. And you can see that with the details, it's grown, and the, the ambition of the circuits, you know, so it's much more ambitious. And you can see that some, some AI just shoot an MP blast to me, which means I couldn't see the, just where the track was going in that exact moment.
So the game is gonna be released on Steam on the 2nd of September, that's in two weeks. You can pre-order the game starting next week. Um, and we're gonna release the game on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well at the beginning of next year. Uh, we also build VR support, so if you have an Oculus Rift, HTC Vive or a Razer OS VR platform, uh, you can play in VR. So I will say the main thing about Red Out is the sense of speed. So when we started building the game, we, we came up with the sentence race faster than ever and we are totally committed to that sentence. So what we've been trying to do is literally build the fastest game ever. And I think if you if you check the competition, if you check the history of the entire genre, I think you we, we actually made it. Um, Redout gives you the feel of speed in every single curve, every single straight track, every single Everything you do in the game, you can feel the speed and you can feel it's something that you never experienced before. So initial impressions were absolutely outstanding. Looking forward to the game's console release in the new year and testing it again on VR. I've already had a quick go on VR, which was very impressive. We've got some more gameplay videos coming to the channel. Uh, keep an eye out for that and there'll be more from us on Redout very soon.